All week, community members have been taking the time to remember the life and death of George Floyd, ending today with a festival at 38th and Chicago. George Floyd Square today was not only filled with singing and dancing, but also a space to reflect on the past two years. Fox 9's Bab Santos was there today, and he joins us live with more. Babs? Yes, even two years after his death, people are still very shaken up by George Floyd's murder. This is the part that really gives joy to the family to see people come out, embrace George, love on George. Saturday marked the end of a four day event remembering George Floyd on the two year mark of his murder by Minneapolis police. There's still in a huge emotion of unrest two years later. The community gathered for a self care fair at George Floyd Square with art and live music. A space for families impacted by the trauma of Floyd's public murder to come together and reflect. It's about healing, it's about networking, it's about building each other up, and it's about making sure that you understand that this is not an isolated situation. This is systemic. Cephas Johnson understands the pain of losing a loved one to the police all too well. It reopened the wound because to see that knee on, on George Floyd's neck and Officer Chauvin with his hands in his pocket with a smirk on his face was extremely painful because it brought us back to what happened to Oscar, my nephew. 22-year-old Oscar Grant died in Oakland, California in 2009 after a police officer kneeled on his back before shooting and killing him. More than a decade later, his uncle grieves his death and the many police killings since then of others who looked like Oscar and George. And that the only way we get through this is that we unite our voices and we echo through one voice, justice and accountability, transparency. And again, today was the last of four days to remember George Floyd. We spoke with people who came from all over the country to be here this week. Karen? All right, Bab Santos, live for us. Thank you. Well, you can head to our website for full coverage on the two years since George Floyd's death. That includes a story about a new book called His Name is George Floyd that provides the most definitive account yet of his life. We spoke to both authors. You can read about it right now on Fox9.com.